Hello, my name is Joel Ferrer. I'm from Cuba, Cuba Chef. Uh, I started in this profession in 1989. I started in this profession in 1989 in Cuba, in Havana, Cuba. And work in different hotels, like uh, Melacoiba Hotel, National Hotel, Miramar Trade Center. I had the chef there for around 20 years, working for some time for the Cuban government, for Castro. And we were in different, working in different areas because we were with uh, Spain companies, Italy, France. And for around 20 years, then I come back to America, I come to America, I start in Miami, continue with my profession because it's my passion. And I learned more about my cuisine, my Cuban cuisine, and about the cuisine around the world. So I come to Atlanta, Georgia, and I come back to the school, to the culinary cuisine, like the Blue College culinary cuisine. I graduated there. Actually, I executive chef in Coco Cabana restaurant. It's big play, 12,000 feet. We got 500 co uh, customers. Uh, 500 covers and around 1500 for nightclub. But we focus in the food, in the restaurant, in the authentic Cuban cuisine, Miami style. This profession, you need, you feel in your blood. You never know how to start. You someday start, you take some knife and prepare some decorations, prepare some food tasting. People love it. And when you see the people smile, you you be happy too, and, and you can explain how you start. Let me tell you something. In the beginning, maybe I was teenager and never cook nothing, <laughs> nothing. But someday, you someday, I start for I don't know why, because I just watch another chef like Anthony Bourdain's, and I say, wow, they travel around the world and make different foods. I love everything food. It doesn't matter if it's India, Asian, Korean, Cuban, Jamaica food. It's, that's the most important thing in this profession. It's when you learn something new every day. You know about new people, different people, different cultures. Got many, many chefs in Cuba. And actually they follow me for the social media, Facebook, Instagram, in my Facebook page. And, and they posted and said, you know what, you inspire me. I, I, I want to see what's going on in my future. And that's good, that's good because it's not only cook, it's more, more like a cook, it's more about, it's not only about food, it's about people, it's about culture, it's about politics. I told you I worked for, for Castro for around 10 years, and it's about politics too. This restaurant, actually this restaurant is authentic Cuban cuisine, Miami style, but the menu is all my menu, so I change a little bit the origi original recipe. I'm from Cuba, so we sell Cuba cuisine. We say it's new Cuban cuisine because it's a little more healthy. We, we work with less sodium, less salt, less fat. This cuisine is a little more healthy, it's a, a little more tasty. And, and our customer can feel that. My future goal is continuing with my profession for many years and hopefully get more customers. Actually, in our restaurant, we have around 500 covers, but we want more. We want to inspire other people. We want to cook for thousands of people. And my goal is that one. Continue to learn about my profession, continue to enjoy my profession is be happy my customer and got more customer every day. We try international the, the, the our cuisine, the Cuban cuisine, but it's a little more. It's some fusion, the Cuban cuisine with the another cultures from the Caribbean, like Jamaica, Bahamas, from Asia, Europe. So the, the Coco Cabana thing is People in another place can know about the Cuban cuisine, what's going on with, with that small country. It's more about fusion culture. 
So that is the, the meaning with Coco Cabana. People can, can enjoy not only, not only food, of course, the food is the most, most important thing here. And now you can enjoy the, the, the salsa, the bachata. Sometimes Sundays we can find here uh, festivals, different festivals, performance. It's not only about food, it's about people, it's about everything. So my advice for another chef is if you really love this profession, if you really enjoy your profession, do it. If you know, don't do that. Don't do that because it's hard. It's really hard.